We're in Hampshire on the Locklear Estate and we've come to look at a rather strange machine. Now this robot will go through the crop and identify weeds and then a later robot will go through the crop again and zap the weeds to control them. So let's go and try and find the owner of the machine. So this Tom robot at the moment is scanning the ground for uh, weeds. Uh, it would normally also be scanning the ground for the crop plants as well. Tom has uh, six cameras uh, across a six meter beam uh, so that it can go up and down the field at about 1.5 meters per second, which is fast walking pace, I suppose, uh, and can gather information which is equivalent to six terabytes, 6,000 gigabytes worth of data every single day. Uh, and when that data comes off Tom to our operating system, Wilma, Wilma can then locate and isolate each individual plant from the imagery that's being used. We are at the moment testing a electric weeding system uh, on a robot we call DIG. And that weeding system uh, will be trialed uh, from October this year. And that will be able to uh, differentiate different weed species uh, and take out weeds that are a threat to the crop plant while leaving ones uh, that are beneficial to the soil or to uh, pollinators. Yeah, I'm excited to have the robots here. We've been very lucky to be part of one of 30 farmers who have engaged early with the small robot company. The reason that we wanted to engage with the robots is because they, they, they offer us like another, another card in the pack as such, as far as like our sort of journey at Lockley Estate. So um, with everything else that we've been doing with change in rotation, and our focus on things like soil health, like lots of other farms are, um, the varieties we pick, the integration of livestock, the cover crops, um, the robots, I think will offer us something, something different going forward. These are lightweight. They are gonna eliminate compaction. We're not gonna use pesticides. They're gonna precisely either place seed and fertilizer. They can give you lots of bolt-ons. The frames do lots of different things. So be it a non-chemical weeding option with electric or a, a spot spray. And do you think it'd be more cost effective using these than getting the sprayer out of the shed? I wouldn't draw the comparison between the sprayer and the, and the non-chemical weeding. Uh, I'm not looking at the robots to replace people or replace equipment. They're just another tool, which if I can link with the interface at Wilma, which is the small robot company sort of interface, if I can task the robot with a, a five hectare patch of weeds in a 30 hectare field, then that's an efficient use of a service and I'd be keen to try that. I can't believe the progress that's been made in the last 18 months. And uh, so I, I'm, I'm totally convinced they'll, they'll be here.